Hello, here is a specimen of the breast and we can see that this is the ellipse of skin. This is the underlying subcutaneous tissue and breast parenchyma. We're looking at the surface of the skin now and here is probably the region of the nipple. It's very hard to actually definitively identify the nipple because the skin of the nipple and around it is very abnormal. But let's first look at the parenchyma of the breast. So I'm going to rotate the specimen. This is the side view and uh, this is the posterior or the deep surface. This is the anterior surface and there has been an incision made over here. So moving this around, again this is the deep surface of the resection specimen. Again here is the deep surface. This area we can see the cut surface of the parenchyma of the breast and we're going to zoom in here. So it is quite difficult to make out because uh, this specimen has been in formalin for some time. But if we look in this area, it appears that there is a mass-like lesion here and this may actually represent malignancy. Moving back to the main area of abnormality in this specimen, it is actually in the skin of the nipple. There is some crusting of the skin. Uh, and the skin surface looks a little bit irregular and raw. This is an area in which a slice of tissue has been taken or sampled for histologic examination under the microscope. So this patient would likely have presented with some oozing of the skin, some itchiness, some eczema-like changes, perhaps some crusting as well of the skin of the nipple. And the diagnosis here is Paget's disease of the nipple or memory Paget's disease. Memory Paget's disease is the involvement of the epidermis of the nipple by malignant cells. So essentially, it is an in situ or intra-epithelial malignant process. And these cells often originate in the underlying lactiferous ducts or large ducts of the breast. So in most instances, there is DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ, in the breast. And in some instances, there is also invasive carcinoma. So once there is... Paget's disease of the nipple is very important to examine the underlying breast tissue for the presence of in situ or invasive carcinoma. Let's have a look at some other examples. Here is an example of an extremely florid case of Paget's disease. The whole nipple is almost destroyed. The skin is very erythematous and very scaly. And here is another example of a more subtle case where you can see this is the intact normal nipple epidermis and over here this region looks a bit raw, there's a bit of crust over this. So the main differential diagnosis clinically is eczema and a biopsy of the skin would actually be very helpful in establishing the diagnosis of Paget's disease because we will look for the malignant cells within the epidermis. Let's have a look at a case and here is the histology of a case. This is the nipple and these are some of the large ducts. So we're going to focus on this area. Looking at a very high magnification view, this whole stretch here is the stratified squamous epithelium of the epidermis. These are the normal benign keratinocytes. We can see among the benign cells very large abnormal atypical cells with hyperchromatic large nuclei and quite abundant cytoplasm. These are the malignant cells that are present within the epidermis. And as I mentioned earlier, most of the time they come from DCIS in the underlying breast. So I just wanted to make a note that there are different conditions with the same name or similar name, Paget's disease. The example we have just seen is memory Paget's disease. There is also extra memory Paget's disease, which often affects the external genitalia. And these are also uh, very similarly um, involvement of the epidermis with malignant cells, which often are apocrine in nature. So they originate from adnexal tissues like sweat glands. And there also may be, in a lower percentage of patients, the presence of underlying carcinoma, for example, of the sweat glands. There is also an entirely different condition known as Paget's disease of the bone, and this is completely unrelated to malignancy, uh, to epithelial malignancy. This is a disease of remodeling, and it is not a malignant disease.
So in summary, this is a specimen of the breast and we're looking at skin changes in the region of the nipple where the skin is roughened, it is thickened, uh, it has some exudates and crusting and this is an example of mammary Paget's disease and it's very important to look in the underlying breast for in situ or invasive carcinoma because there is a very high incidence in mammary Paget's disease. Thank you.